There are so many interesting issues that we are going to be talking about as a state between now and November. And we don't always get to some of those big, interesting issues, but I know you all have some that we should be talking about. Mara, let's start with you. Something you're looking at between now and November. I'm going to suggest that people watch their local House and Senate races. We've got some mm. good things going on. So first, I want to say there are some tremendous women running this year. Um, the over, you know, the zeitgeist right now is to say women participate, and we answered the call. So some, some that I'm loving are Lisa Ross Kelly in Davis mm. County. She's running as a Republican. She has a terrific resume. Suzanne Harrison, who's a Democrat in the South Valley of um, Salt Lake County, she uh, lost last year to an incumbent by five votes. Now it's an open seat. She is a mother and a doctor and smart. Um, the race in Salt Lake City for Jim DeBacchus' mm -hmm. seat has three, you know, a strong Republican and two strong Democrats looking to run there. Um, there's some fun races that are competitive in Salt Lake County. If you live in Salt Lake County, um, there's a race that Dan Thatcher is always interesting because the um, it's a swing district and um, Democratic labor unions always go for the Republican in this. So I would just say there are several primaries already established and there are some great candidates this year and local elections and and when it comes time I'm going to tell you to watch your mayor's race even closer because local elections, elections are really where your pocketbook lives. Yeah, it's very interesting. Closest to the people and we don't talk about it like we should. Very good. Deanie. I was most interested to see the compromise in how we will get education money and whether we mm -hmm. will on the ballot this fall. Um, first of all, it, it was shaping up to be a battle of the titans. You had business leaders, yeah. powerful business leaders and lawmakers challenging each other to a game of chicken basically over who really has support. In the end, we'll get to see if people mm -hmm. really want to raise taxes in a more, di you know, in an easier, maybe less painful way to support schools everywhere you go. And, it, and I cover education. So I hear repeatedly from parents who say, we need to do more for schools. We need to support our schools and pay our teachers more. Well, they'll get a chance to, to see if that's really right. how people feel. That's right. And some efforts that you've reported on are already trying to help teachers in the state. You know, just recently, the Jordan District right. um, says that this is the biggest commitment to teachers in the state. They raised for the second year teacher salaries. Last year, that sparked a bidding war between uh, the major districts. So we'll see what happens again. Yeah. But it, it happens in a backdrop of, of states across the country having teachers walk out. And I'm grateful that that's not happening in our state. Mm -hmm. Very good one. Thank you for that. Matt? I'm going to talk about what you cannot plan for. There are political <laughs> consultants. Yeah. There are political consultants. And there are candidates who are mapping out their strategies and all prepared on what issues they're going to talk about. But you cannot plan for President Donald Trump. <laughs> and national issues will be a major player in the midterms throughout this country and will probably have a significant impact on M Representative Mia Love's reelection mm -hmm. campaign. Who, uh, and as well as Mitt Romney will be in the Senate race would be asked repeatedly after every single thing Trump does, what he thinks about it. President Trump will have a huge impact on Utah's elections this November. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Wow, those were some very interesting issues we should be talking about. Thank you very much.